YouTube. Hey. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, this episode of our vlog is all about... You're supposed to say your name. Sam, it's Sam. me. Sam! <laughs> <laughs> Sam is the newest member of the piano team and we're very, very excited to have him. And you should be too because Sam, I guess you're okay. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> okay, so Sam, let's 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 tell our friends a little bit about you. Well, I like uh, just creating um, and exploring different sounds. I'm I went to school for music, went to school for jazz piano. So jazz. Piano. Yeah. So I I He's learned special. lots. Yeah, learned lots, and I'm able to create stuff now. But it took a lot of practicing and a lot of uh, time alone, just sitting with the piano. So I love it very much. Why did you choose jazz school? It was kind of an accident, actually. I decided that I was going to do music at okay. the end of high school. I thought it was a good decision. Yeah, I was. I was kind of like nervous because I wasn't sure like what am I going to do with music, but it was something that I liked, so I decided to study it. And then four years later, fell in love with it even more, and now I'm here. So it's it's it was a good decision, and I'm very happy that I chose it because there's just so many cool things you can do with music, and there's so much to learn. So. I feel like it's really exciting because. I'm not like super jazzy. I mean, like I'm a jazz person. <laughs> I can't play jazz on the piano. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so I'm really excited to have Sam here so that he can teach you um, how to, you know, play the jazz things. And mm. composition is another thing that you're really into too. Yes, mm -hmm. I love writing music. Um, like for films, like film for film score? scoring. Yeah, that's okay. like my big, big, big goal. Like, is to at least have one film where I've written music in it. So that's kind of my goal. Okay. Um, but as of right now, I just like composing for small bands or groups or anything like that. So it's, it's fun. It's, it's fun to share music and put stuff on paper so you can play it again. Okay, yeah. cool. um, Speaking of paper, oh, I have yes. some paper right here. Well, nice segue. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. And I wrote some questions. Um, okay, so we're gonna do this like fun little question thing so you guys can learn a little bit more about me and a little bit more about Sam. Ooh. Um, so we're both gonna answer these questions. Okay. Favorite key signature? E flat major. E major. Oh. Ew, why flat? I love the sound. It's so warm. It it just feels like it gives you a big hug every time you play like an E flat major chord. So that's it's why I like. Makes me want to cry when I have to play an E flat. Major. Oh well, that's just personal opinion. We can agree to disagree yes, here. Yes, I think so. Okay, I respect your favorite key. Let signature. me know if you like E flat major. And let Lisa know if you like E major. E major. Yeah. The, the sharps feel like very symmetrically placed. It's like, that's nope, fair. Yeah. two sharps, and then, oh, another two sharps, and then a note. That's fair. It feels right. Yeah, no, that's fair. Okay. All right, major or minor? Major. Minor. Yeah, I love I minor. major. Major is like, just lifts you up. I mean, there are some times where minor, like, it, it depends on the mood, obviously. Okay, okay, okay. But for the most part, I prefer major. That's yeah. very interesting. Yeah. I prefer minor. That's interesting. I think because my mood is usually like, oh, ah! yeah. I need to like balance that out. Hmm. Yeah, I like cool. that. Weird. Okay, I'm learning about myself and you right now. Yeah, this is cool. Okay, okay, okay. Your least favorite thing to practice. Ooh. You know, it's probably going to be scales. Oh, yeah. Um, they're important, and I know they're important, mm -hmm. but they're very difficult to make fun and engaging. So for me, it's going to have to be scales. Okay. So what about you? Um, it's not a thing. It's the metronome. Ah. So it is. <laughs> <laughs> so practicing with the metronome? Yes, I do not okay. like to practice with the metronome. <laughs> the sound hurts me. Really? It's like. Ah, yes, yeah. it makes me so crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so I only practice with the metronome in small doses, and this could explain my rhythm skills. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's rhythm skills you can practice without a metronome, but it does help with. So that you know, that whole consistency why. thing? Totally. Yeah, that's, yeah, kind of that's tough to do, though. Okay, favorite dead composer? Uh, De Debussy. Ooh, okay. Yeah, Debussy is my favorite. Um, Moonlight, uh, sorry, uh, River Danube. The, oh. That one's my favorite piece. So, yeah, it's uh, just beautiful. It makes me happy okay. every time. So, yeah, okay. what about you? Bach. Bach? Okay. Is that weird? No, that's, he's one of the legends. I love Bach yeah. or Handel. Okay. Yeah. I love Handel. Yeah. And also, also, I love Bach. Yeah, well, Bach, like, he was the guy that started, uh, like, the classical movement. So he's, he's, he's kind of like, man. he's the king, he's if the you want to call classical? him king of classical? Okay, so we know our favorite dead composer. What about our favorite modern composer? Ooh, that's a really good one. Um, I've been into a lot of really complicated um, piano parts the last few years, um, because it's really interesting to hear different rhythms and different melodies kind of over top of each other. Okay. 
So super advanced stuff, but uh, Jacob Collier. Ooh. Really like Jacob Collier. I'd have um, to agree with you. Yeah, there. and um, I think I'll have to stay with, just with that. There's a few others, but I'll just stick with Jacob for now. I think yeah. like I kind of meet you, but I'm gonna go like. She's not really a composer. Can songwriters be composers? Oh, absolutely. Okay, then you know what? I love Sarah Burles. I love her. That's fair. Yeah. She's so good. Mm -hmm. She wrote all the music for Waitress. Right? <sighs> so good. And it's all so good. So good. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, okay. These are some easy ones. Okay. So this is like a sweet or salty question. <sighs> chips, like as in potato chips? Yes. Or chocolate? Oh, I'm gonna have to go with chips. Chocolate. Yeah. I love chips. I can I can devour a chip bag like that. No, at least it's we don't have terrifying. to worry about protecting your chips or my chocolate. Yep, okay. we're, we're we can we can just yeah. Okay. Dogs or cats? Dogs. Dogs. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Cats dogs. are freaky. Uh, cats are okay sometimes, but cats? a lot of the times they just get mad for no reason. Eat it's like why? Birds. Oh, is that? It's, they're just they just eat birds. Vicious little hunters. True. Okay. Fair enough. Dogs I, are just yeah. smugglers. I love dogs. Dogs are my favorite. <laughs> okay. Justin Bieber or Ed Sheeran? Oh, Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Hands down. The guy can loop anything. Ah, it's okay, so I good. agree. Yeah, I agree. So I agree. good. Okay, okay, okay. Shout out to you, Ed. What? I'm just shouting out oh. to Ed Sheeran. Oh, yeah. Good job, Ed. Yeah. Okay. Um, favorite genre uh -huh. versus your most hated genre? <sighs> well, actually, okay, this is an interesting question because I like a lot of genres of music. Okay. Um, you only get one of each. I know, Sam. and it's very difficult. You have to pick. If I was to pick one, I actually really, really enjoy uh, classical music. Yeah, I love listening to classical music. Playing classical music is very difficult. Yes, Because yes. it's very rigid, and okay. I like exploring sounds and playing jazz. So mm -hmm. playing, I like jazz, but listening, and if I was to pick one, okay. classical music for sure. And then the least favorite is probably like I said, I like everything and like and listen to a lot of stuff, but metal. Metal's probably my least favorite. There's some good metal songs, but overall, like hardcore metal music, that's not something I'm super into. So You're gonna agree. Yeah. Metal makes me feel upset. Like real upset. Yeah. Actually though, I like um that eighties metal though. Okay, yeah. The hair Hair, is it hair, hair metal? Hair metal? I always think hairspray because it is hairspray. Where you just like shake your head around. The hair metal. Like, yeah, I think yeah. it's fabulous. I actually have, I love the, I love the hair metal. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, metal music is probably my least favorite. But there is good songs in metal music that I listen to, so. Well, you know, Sam, that's very politically correct of you. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't want to make everybody angry. I do. I don't like metal <laughs> at all, except for the hair metal. And mm. also my favorite genre is probably like indie folk. Okay. Because like, yeah, I yeah, love yeah. Joni Mitchell and Bob oh. Dylan. So those are like actually at the core will be folk. There you go. I'm a folk girl. <laughs> what song would be on repeat if you were being tortured? <sighs> uh, this, yeah, this is a tough question. Probably Barbie Girl. <laughs> yeah. The Aqua song? Yeah. So when I'm really like wanting to help you have a good day, I can like just sing, I'm a puppy girl. Well, like once in a while is okay, but if it was on repeat, oh, it's fantastic. Yeah, no, couldn't do it. Okay, no, okay. would not be fun. Okay, mine's about you? Um, Old Town Road. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> For sure. Oh, man. Like, I don't know. I, I think some people are going to be pretty upset with that though, because that's a I good song. I apologize if I hurt your feelings. Yes. But I hate it so much. It's, I mean, it has a good beat. I respect, like I respect the like creative genius that created that song. Mm -hmm. Mad respect. Very out of the box thinking. Yeah. yeah, but my kid plays it on the piano because oh, I mean that's no. the only thing I ever taught him on the piano, and that's what he's doing. He's just playing all the time. I'm like, I'm never giving you another piano lesson ever again in your whole life because this. Oh man. I'm just joking. I'm totally gonna teach him how to play. It's like. Okay, okay, okay. Um, how do you feel about? Pineapple on pizza. Yes. It needs to be there. I don't think we can be friends. No, like, it's just, it's the sweet little That's gross, extra... you don't put fruit on pizza. That's, that's not fruit, it's an addition. No, what is a pineapple, Sam? Oh, it is a fruit, but like in the, so in the pizza world, it's, a fruit, it's just, it's just a topping. And you are putting the fruit. It's like, the fruit is on the pizza. Okay, but there's dessert pizzas too. You put sugar on pizza, that's a dessert. No, the only dessert pizza is a treatsa pizza, and there's like, no bread, it's just, mm. Oreos. Or like chocolate sauce banana, there's yes. a bunch of stuff. But yeah. that's a different kind of, there's no tomato sauce. Bananas on pizza, which means it's a fruit, so how come pineapple can't be on a no, fruit? No, you don't put bananas on pizza. I've seen it. 
Where would you do that? There's tons of stuff. I'm sure, like, there's tons of tons of fruit on pizza. Clearly, so, I'm very passionate about this. Apparently, and I am too. So I think we should Stop agree to disagree. Agree to disagree. Mm. I'm sorry. Gross. I can't. I can't convert to the other side. Pineapple just so good on pizza. Hmm. Fine. Okay. <laughs> that was some heat there. All right. <laughs> I don't even know if we can move on from this. Okay, biggest performance fail. Oh man, okay. So when I was learning classical music, uh, I was about 14 years old. Tender age. Mm -hmm. Went up to play in front of the adjudicators. Oh, not the adjudicators. Uh -huh. Oh no. And there was, I think there was about 60 people in the audience that day for whatever reason, because uh. there was lots of people waiting for the next um, part of the competition for um, the Royal Conservatory, like, Auditions My and adjudications. Worst nightmares. They're the worst. And so <laughs> I went up and I sat down and I'd practiced so long and I was ready to go and I felt good about it. And I sat down and I thought about something else for a brief second and I went back to what I was thinking about the piano. Totally blanked. Gone. Totally blanked. And I sat there and I was like, I honestly can't remember anything. And so I just put my hands up and I just started playing random things. I, I honestly just <laughs> I just started just, playing. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah, I just like I was just playing. I was like I knew some chords and I was playing. I made some melodies and like tried to break it up, make it sound like classical music. And I just was panicking the whole time, just like Ugh. and then I finished and I stood up and I looked at the audience and everyone was like, "What are you doing?" And oh my then gosh, I have like way more respect for you yeah, now. Yeah, and the adjudicator came up and said, "Well, you played something. That's <laughs> awesome." And then talked about the piece just as she would teach it. And then I sat down and was about beat red for probably an hour and a half after that, waiting for the thing to be over. So oh, that was sad. that was the worst one I've ever had. But after that, it kind of- You can't got, get worse than no, that, really. It, it got better. But like, yeah. oh my gosh, you actually just like played stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. And that's kind of like my reasoning as to why I did jazz too. Cause it was like in my in my <laughs> dire straight moment of stress, I just decided to noodle. To play some jazz. Yeah, and just noodle it around. So that's why I was like, you know what? Eh, maybe jazz is my thing, so. Mad respect. I appreciate that. Yeah, so it was, it was scary though. It was very scary. Mine wasn't quite that bad. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you kind of win. I just forgot <laughs> the song. Also, it was like, I think it's like the nerves, they just wipe your brain. Totally. I had to, perf I was playing the piano for a girl at this like final like vocal showcase and I went to play the intro and it took me like three tries and I just like couldn't for the life of me. It was oh, the beginning no. of like Alicia Keys, Empire State of Mind. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I couldn't get it together. I had the music in front of me. Oh man. This was like four years ago. Honestly, I find it sometimes it's harder with the music because then you lose your spot and ah! then you panic and you're like, where, where, where? What is happening? Yeah. Yeah, so that Jeez, was awful. That's rough. But you just carry on, you know, right? Yep. You just carry on. Just live life. Favorite guilty pleasure music? Like, you're kind of embarrassed that you like the music, but Ooh. you do? Oh man. You know, honestly, I like the guilty pleasure music that I would say that I like is probably like, um, no, you're supposed to say the one that you don't want to say that you like, Sam. Oh, that I don't? Wait. Is it, is it guilty pleasure? I'm very, okay, yes. So it's like well, what I'm, you don't want to admit. Well, I, that's the thing. Like, I, I'll listen to everything. Spice Girls for me. Oh, Blondie. Blondie! Yes! There you go! There we go. Blondie. Yeah, figured it. Spice Girls. Yeah. Spice Girls is on my, my workout gym playlist. Hey, but, yeah, it's a jam. I sing along. It's good. <laughs> okay, one more, one more. Okay, we'll end on, we'll end on like a neutral territory. Okay. First concert. First concert. I was very young. I was in music for young children. Oh yeah. Yeah, and I think it was like five or something. And I walked up on stage and played my uh, I had a dog, his name is Blue. Oh, and that's so did cute. That, and then walked off stage, felt like a thousand dollars, sit back down in my chair. Were you wearing a little suit? Was so, yeah, with a little tie. And uh, that was my first one. Okay, well, what I really meant by that question, even though I really enjoyed that story, yes. was what was the first concert you went to? Oh, my first concert I ever went to was Gord Bamford. That? He is a country singer from Lacombe and he came to uh, my hometown, uh, which was Red Deer, Alberta, and it was in this little small stage, and I just remember listening to country music and be like, I want to do that, and sing. It inspired and, you? Yep, and something with that, and so I learned guitar because of that show, and sat and played guitar for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours, and then. That's so great. Yeah. Alanis Morissette. Really? Mm-hmm. 
Wow, I would never guessed. I know, that was, because I was kind of like in touch with like my more angry, darker side as a young teen. Okay. Yeah, I would say. It wasn't always all sunshine and rainbows. And so I loved Alanis <laughs> Morissette and I'd get like, I'd like sing along, I feel like imitate her voice perfectly. Okay. And so I convinced my parents to tell me to go to a Alanis Morissette concert. Really? It was fabulous. Can you still do the voice? Oh yeah, but I'm not doing it right now. Okay, no? Okay. We'll mm. say that for another time. Maybe another time. I feel like I just need like a little time to like really... Warm up? Prepare. Yeah, that's fair. It's been a while. Yeah. I'm out of touch. That's fair. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, well, so that was I, fun. I feel like, yeah, I feel like our friends know us better now. I agree, yeah. I hope that you still want to be our friends. Hope so. Even though Sam, especially, not even though, especially since Sam likes pineapple on his pizza. Well, it's good. I, I stand by it. Fine. Um, anyways, you're going to see lots more of Sam in mm -hmm. the panel members area on our YouTube channel. If you have any lesson requests that have to do with the world of jazz, be sure to comment below with them. Mm -hmm. Welcome him. Give him a big warm welcome to our community. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you around. Bye-bye.